All right, the final video that you guys have chosen to watch tonight is from our good friend that is here literally all the time, good old Kaiser. Kaiser the Gamer on YouTube, Kaiser the Bar here on Twitch. Uh, that is that is a that is a heck of a that's a heck of a freeze frame that I have I have chosen for for the beginning of this video. <laughs> um, yeah, this video of theirs, we have watched plenty of their videos before. Uh, they they do appreciate us when we decide to react to their content. Uh, and they usually put forward their stuff in the Discord uh, for us to react to. So I very, very much appreciate them for being so kind and, and, and humble as a creator. We appreciate them so much. So now more than ever, make sure you click that link that just showed up in the Twitch chat. If you're on YouTube, it'll be down in the description below to support the official release of this video and support this wonderful creator. This video in particular is talking about is the hardcore series uh, Survivor Series problematic, which is kind of an interesting take. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. It's not something I've even thought about. It's not something that ever really occurred to me. So I'm interested to kind of like see what they say and see if like it, you know, I form an opinion about it. So yeah, let's go ahead and go. Just do the whole video like this. Let's talk about smurfing. <laughs> now, if you're not aware, smurfing is the act uh, of okay. a higher level player. Most of the time, somebody like, if you think of it in terms of ranked in like Overwatch or Apex, somebody who's like high diamond and above, creating a new account or an alt account so that they can play in lower level lobbies. It's called smurfing because- Yeah, who does that? Actually, I don't know why it's called smurfing. It has really nothing to do with the smurfs, but it's still one of those things where people, it, it, that's, that's what it is, right? So it's high level players forcing themselves in the lower level lobbies most of the time, like 99.9999999% of the time um, by creating new accounts. And there's various reasons that people have claimed for smurfing. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you my opinion. It's all bullshit. Hold on. Some, some homies have an ad right now, so we're going to pause. Smurfing comes from an old player who did this with the name Papa Smurf. Is that really it? Is that really the reason that that, that came through? Is that really the reason that went through? Is that true? Is that true and real? Is that true and factual? Yeah, Warcraft 2. That's interesting. That's interesting. I never knew that. Every day is a school day. I have I have learned today. I am a smarter person today because of because of that. That's cool. That's cool. I had no idea. Yeah, I don't. <sighs> I don't know. Smurfing is like in every game, though. I'm not. I'm not forming an opinion or like talking back or anything. I'm just. I'm just. You know, throwing thoughts out. Like, smurfing is in every game. This isn't a DVD like thing. It is. It is a video gaming thing. Any any sort of game that has any sort of MMR or matchmaking always has Smurfs. So I'm interested to see where they go with this. <laughs> it's all bullshit. It's all. It's all crap. I don't care what the reason is. I don't get to play with my friends. Then don't play in. Yo, Zesty, homie. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I very, very much appreciate that, friend. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you. I'll try to make that worthwhile, bud. Thank you. That's very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. You can also be versus versus two where you previously tank your MMR. Do, are people that tank their MMR, like those. If you tank your MMR for user matches, you're a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe there's a nicer way to say that but essentially like if you grind if you try hard so hard that your mmr gets super high and then suddenly you're like i don't want to fight people of my same skill level and you just want to play a little a, a bully simulator that's like i don't know that that, that i feel like that's cringe energy i feel that's very very like cringe that you're like okay well i want to pub stomp and the moment that i start getting people my same skill level I want to go back to pub stomping. <laughs> like, that's like, I don't know. I just find that really cringy, personally. But yeah, ranked lobbies. Oh, but but if they play with my friends and in pub lobbies, then they get put in my lobbies. I don't care. That sucks to be you. It sucks to be them. Doesn't mean you have to ruin the game for everybody else. Um, in Overwatch, there was this thing called unranked to GM, where GM players would. You guys smurf about, into brought up lower level lobbies so that they could provide educational quote unquote content. Um, regardless, like no matter what the reason for smurfing is, I hate the act. I hate the act of smurfing. That is not to say I necessarily hate people who do smurf. Like that unranked to GM thing, there are people I greatly respect who did it. Boger, uh, ML7. You know, I love Ruby both of them. That's right. Homie sits where I sit. That's right. I did this last time and I forgot to this time. My apologies. Haters, I think, and I think that their unranked to GMs 
while I don't accept any reason, I understand why they did it. And it's not necessarily a nefarious reason. There's a lot of people out there that smurf just so they could pub stomp on lower level people. Yep. And it's, and lame. it's, it's just not lame. fun. It's not fun for the people involved. And it's only fun for the person. It was on accident. I just whatever. forgot group of gremlins it's not on my screen it's over here chat. it's just not interesting if anything a- if anything it's reverse it is it, it is it is reversed attention seeking behavior because i'm not over here looking because if i was looking at myself i'd be looking over at like the obs over here like nonstop. but i wasn't i was looking i was solely at the creator that's currently talking so egg on your face Engage likely story i really like your shit. story right here with that being said, let's talk about the hardcore Survivor series that A Run, JRM, Hens, and Odds Darva are doing. Now, as always, That's I feel weird, the need Gus. to put a disclaimer here. I, I believe Just it, because I am criticizing the actions of these creators does not mean that I dislike them or that I hate them or that I think they're bad people. I don't. In fact, Odds and J. In fact, Ots and Aaron are two of my favorite Dead by Daylight creators. I think Hens is pretty cool, and I've never watched a single solitary second of JRM's content, but from the way that he likes to f*** with Aaron, I assume he's a really funny guy. That being said, I think that the act of smurfing to do this challenge is a tad ridiculous. So what is the challenge? Well, Hardcore Survivor, at least from what I can gather from watching it, is all four of these guys getting together and trying to go from Ash 4 to Iridescent 1 on all of their survivors, but if they die on a survivor, they lose access to that survivor. Now, the idea behind this challenge, and one of the reasons that they are smurfing for it, is that not every survivor is prestiged like in their normal accounts where it doesn't matter if a survivor quote unquote dies they they still have all of the perks on every other survivor and this first point is something that someone brought up in the comment section on the poll when i asked you guys if you actually wanted me to talk about this because for whatever reason you guys value my opinion on matters and i've had <laughs> people ask me to talk about it and yeah. i just wanted to get a, a general community opinion and for Tanks some reason you guys wanted me to do that but Think tanks they are said Healthy that in game. order to do the challenge to begin with they have to smurf no they don't <laughs> you know what i mean i get i get that the point of the challenge is if the if if they're not working with brand new accounts then when the survivor dies and they can no longer use the survivor if they haven't prestiged that survivor mm-hmm. then they don't necessarily get those perks but counterpoint there are various amounts of ways to do this challenge um without smurfing I can think of three off the top of my head. Um, You can only use the perks of a survivor that you're currently using. Yeah, like an adept challenge. Let's say you're using um, Fung, right? You can only use Alert, Life, and Technician. And whatever other general perks there are. You can't use anybody else's teachables, right? So then when Fung dies, you no longer have access to those perks. You could do something where... um, you could do some you could do something like you are only allowed to use four perks or, or you have four perks, right? And then when you die, not only does that survivor die, but you lose access to the four perks you were using, right? So like if you're if you're using a good a good synergized build like um deliverance will make it plot twist and adrenaline and then you die on that you character lose those not perks, only do you yeah. lose that character yeah that'd be smart that'd be a good way to do it actually to adrenaline plot twist deliverance and we'll that'd make be good it. i like that i would like to see that perks. challenge I would, I would appreciate um, that um and one that i thought up recently was that you were only allowed to use a survivor's three perks and that's it you couldn't use generals or anybody else's uh, teachers so like there's various ways to do the hardcore survivor challenge and i actually really like and enjoyed the idea they came up with where they gain a new perk slot every time they grade up. So in Ash grade, they don't Abuse have them any What do you mean to me? And this? then they get some bronze and they get one perk. And then silver's two, gold's three, iridescence four. Um, that's really cool. You don't need a smurf to do that. So I don't really buy that they have to smurf in order to do this hardcore survivor. Now, another person brought up that it doesn't really matter that they're smurfing. Because I think the- one of the things that like... Okay, this hear me out. If the point of like it's 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 in the name, right? Hardcore survivor. The idea is it's supposed to be extremely challenging. 
Why? What's the purpose of smurfing? If the point is to make Survivor super challenging, why are we making it simultaneously easy by smurfing? By facing, you know, brand new and inexperienced players. Or players that have come back after a long break. If the point is to make the game harder, why are we balancing that difficulty by creating a new account? That doesn't... It seems counterintuitive, almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't fit the whole point of a challenge. It'd be like, okay, it's so like, you know, one of the most popular things to do in a lot of survival horror games like Resident Evil is to do, like, a no-damage run. Right? Uh, that'd be like trying to do, like, a, like a no-damage run and then, like putting on, like, an infinite ammo gun that you got from your last playthrough, which is stuff like that that you get in this game. Or, like, a, an infinite health knife or something. Like, an item you you succeeded getting in a different playthrough to help you get through the no-damage run. Like, that's... It, 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 it devalues the no-damage run because you're using a, a busted item that you got from a previous playthrough in this new one. So, the fact... Your feat of pulling off the no-damage run is not as impressive because you're cheesing it with a with an item you already got from something else instead of just using what you know playing the game normally with like the items available to you and trying to do a no damage run that's what this feels like and there's Kaiser. hello hello i'm i'm with you so far on this one i'm just i'm just confused I just, I just, I'm just confused, like, and that, like, I don't mean this as, like, a, I'm making a firm and angry opinion or something, but I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. If the whole advertisement is Survivor, this is supposed to be making Survivor super difficult, and that's the entertainment aspect, they're also cheesing the entertain, they're cheesing the difficulty by using Smurfs. That's a fair criticism, but from a video standpoint, it'd be easiest to explain without having to prove that nothing is fudged. But they... I, I don't really understand that, Tamisus. And I don't mean that to be antagonistic at all. Like, I, I don't understand that. That seems like a very, like... Like a like a very straw man argument. That doesn't seem very, like... You can, you can, you can still fake... You can still fake Smurf videos. Like, you know, like... Like, you could still... You could still do that. It's not like it's, like, removed. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't do away with that as a possibility. You know? That doesn't... That doesn't really... Yeah, that doesn't really do away with it as a possibility. That was Friday. I'm so happy. It's fine. You still ask me what you need to ask me. Yeah, TLDR of what I'm trying to say is like, if the whole point is to make Survivor challenging, smurfing makes Survivor way easier. So I don't think that's accomplishing what they want. MMR only takes about a dozen or so games in order to find where you actually belong. And no offense to this person, but that's kind of bold. The MMR system does not work as it is. But the one thing I have found it is very good at is matching new players with new players. So I don't think that... So so when, when they create these accounts, when they create these new accounts, it automatically assumes they're new players. And it's going to be putting them with absolute toddlers to begin with and i don't know if any of you remember what you were like when you first started playing killer but i certainly do and i would not have been able to hold a candle to these four specifically when they're on comms i wouldn't have been able to do it in with just them and it's important the because the first like i would say like the, the 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 first like play session of any game is like really important to like retention it is is that like it's essentially like making a first impression just like with anything like jobs interviews anything it's like it's you got to make a good first impression and if your first impression is just not even standing a chance not even getting a chance to learn and just feeling like garbage the whole time you're probably not going to come back to the game and especially for a game this late in its like cycle that's like not particularly a good thing Yeah, so, like, the I get the idea, Tamisus, because it's, like, hardcore in the sense that we don't have access to all our perks, but in a similar vein, ha having brand new MMR and facing literally brand new killers, like, mitigates that difference, so it's just, like, it's not, it, it's not actually more difficult. Team, like if it was them in three randoms, yeah, yeah, they probably would have got. I do have, I do have to edit and work out tonight, so just because of how well they played. 
But it may on not be top tomorrow, of that, but, yeah. let's just say for a moment that after 12 games, a dozen, and even dozen, after 12 games, it puts you where you belong. And all of a sudden, they're in the MMR where their main accounts are. That's still 12 games of the weeks, easiest double still. pips of their entire life. And no, not using perks and shit like that does not make it harder on them mm. right if you want especially if you watch the first episode of hardcore survivor the only time any of them ever took a hit was when jrm was trolling a run or a run got overconfident right and he didn't play quite correctly that's the only time and then even then none of them actually died and hook states were practically only happening if they were giving them out and that's a you know to you know to make a, I guess, a counterpoint is if the point of the series is, haha, let's go bully some brand new people at the game and laugh about it. That's that's a different kind of video, right? And there's and there's entertainment there, but it's being advertised as we're making Survivor hard when that's not what's happening, <laughs> you know. So it's got I'm like sorry, false advertisement. It just doesn't seem like a challenge to me to start yourself off in baby MMR. If I started a hardcore killer survive or killer series tomorrow and my first fuck two grades basically, which is ash to bronze, were just in baby MMR against killers or against survivors who don't know their ash from a generator, mm -hmm. you guys would all tell me that I'm not actually challenging myself and you would be right. Yep. <clears throat> That being said, I thought that, I, hey, you gotta have like a um, hundred thousand subscribers before you can get away with shit like that, okay? Okay? Become a big content creator, bit too big for your britches, and then you can get away with whatever, okay? Like, time to, time to farm those numbers, homie. Once you farm those numbers, you're good. Yes, I did? Yeah, I got it. Once you farm those numbers, you're good. Once you're, once you're a big, too big for your britches content creator, you can get away with stuff like that, but not yet. Yet. I do really think that the Hardcore Survivor series is interesting because the four of them have really great chemistry. Otz is constantly exasper exacerbate ex ex Just words and things. Otz is constantly exacer. I think I to Mises, I think it's both. I think that's like, I think that's like what I'm getting at. Is like. They it's posted and kind of like, you know, advertised as oh it's hardcore survivor and they're like oh gosh they don't have access to their, all their perks that must be more difficult, and in reality you know behind the curtain it's also like this is also really profitable because we're bullying new killers and it's kind of funny, <laughs> but they don't tell you that second part and they kind of hide that second part and pretend it's not happening when really that's part of that's part of the selling plan is that so, that's what I think. Oh, the word. Exasper exasperate Otz is constantly exasperated at the other three's fucking shenanigans. Hens is constantly trolling the killer. JRM is constantly trolling Aaron, and Aaron is constantly trolling himself by completely and utterly making the dumbest moves imaginable the second he thinks that the killer can't catch him. And it's all very funny and very engaging, and I think the three of the four of them are completely and utterly entertaining but i just don't think that the smurfing aspect is necessary and i also feel like in general terms the smurfing aspect kind of ruins a lot of the challenge and a lot of the perception of how hard the challenge can actually be because mm -hmm. when you think about it having to get from ash four to iridescent one and not being able to use repeat survivors is very hard. It's very difficult. And when I watched Aaron do it the first time, I think that if he would have been doing it in his own MMR as a solo, I don't know. Dark side of X creator. Unfortunately, it's kind, it's there's already been a lot of videos like that against cer about certain people. Especially so. on Survivor, because the emblem system on Survivor is more bullshit That's than the emblem system on Killer. I do have an emblem video, by the way. It's just taking way longer than I expected it to I'd be. Watch but, the point is, is that in general, the the challenge itself and the product itself is very fun and engaging and looks cool and interesting. But I just think that it's ruined by the smurfing aspect, especially in a lot of people's eyes. The last thing I want to talk about is I saw this post on Reddit when the first episode got released and it was this person. No, I'm not going to talk about that. 
this. In general's term speaking, I just think that if you're going to do something like a hardcore blank challenge, yeah, that part, that that's fine. putting yourself in lower lobbies for the beginning of this okay. challenge is just not up to hey, speed it's good to see with friend. what you could be doing. Doing all right, Harry. Right? It doesn't seem like it's a proper challenge if you're purposely softening the blow on yourself. Like take Spooky Loop's hardcore killer challenge, for example, where if he lost like like he put like so many restrictors on himself he was like i get one build no add-ons if a killer dies i lose that killer and then he got to like gold or whatever he's like i can't slug for the 4k at all so i'm gonna be losing killers left and right and then he rolled in there that's a challenge right that's a challenge and i think that softening the blow of challenges makes it a lot less impressive in my eyes i have a challenge i'm planning to do for you guys pretty soon and trust me oh, it's not going to be fun. fucking easy but i just want you guys to know that i'm not going to soften the blow on myself too much i'm not as good so i'm going to do something slightly different but we'll get to that when it comes to it the point is is that i just want you guys to understand that while i don't think that Ots and JRM and A Run and Hens are toxic people who are just bullying. Yeah, I don't think anybody's saying players. that. I do but, think that the next time they do yeah. this hardcore survival, the result is the result. Is, whatever it yeah. is, because they don't do regardless it very of often. the intent. I think that they need to stick to their own MMR and they need to just find other ways to make it more interesting so that they don't fucking look like a bunch of like bullies, basically. Yeah, because regardless of intent, it does kind of come off that way. Like it's very entertaining, but like it, it it's kind of. It does kind of come off that way. It does kind of come off that way, and that is kind of like... Yeah. So, it might be better to just avoid it. And again, I'm not saying they are, I'm saying that that's how people are perceiving them, and I just think that the smurfing part is unnecessary. But that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As, as always, a special thank you to my channel members, Nuclear Bomb, Spirit Upgrades, The Cannibal Main, Alex Balix, Ryan Gesture. Yeah, would Hardcore Adept be like a bad and series? I mean, that'd be fine. Guys know, we did just add a new perk to the channel memberships. If you are a console scrub, which is the <laughs> second <laughs> tier of the, per of the uh, channel members, then you get to see these videos the moment that they're scheduled for upload. So sometimes I finish videos like a week in advance. You you know, I, I'm filming this my boy hey cozy Wednesday. we just watched your video you on uh on, Monday. You on can uh clown see it earlier on the, it was very very good you Wednesday did a fantastic when job I, when i scheduled very very fantastic upload. job so, you know if you're interested in that go ahead but also if you're just a normal channel member which is the the first one if you're a uh mobile gamer then you get to see what is going to be talked about in the coming weeks every time i upload a video i upload the thumbnail right alongside of it uh to the channel members and they get to see what future top what what a uh, program do you use to edit kaiser if you're still like you just said something, so I assume you're here or not, you know, lurking. What 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 video program do you use to edit? Da Vinci? I don't know about Da Vinci, but if you ever want to prevent this situation that's happening right now, where like you, your gameplay is oh, underneath so you your webcam well and you can see it slightly on the edges, there should be an option on most video editing services to do like set frame, uh, set scale to frame or something like that. There should be something worded like that on your, um, on your, uh, like in your options. That way it automatically goes to the full extent of the screen. You don't have like the, like the background edge here. The end of videos, make sure you guys video hit ones? that. No, I totally, get it. I totally understand I that. I love you all so much and I will see you. But yeah, that's a helpful little thing. You're asking me? No, I was, no, I was asking, uh, Kaiser because this is their video and. There was a, a thing I noticed. I was just trying to be helpful. Yo, Zella, thank you so much for the Valorant. I very, very much appreciate that. Thank you, bud. It's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. But yeah, uh, in terms of this video, um, yeah, I, I do think, I agree. I do think it's like, like I was saying, and keep saying until I'm blue in the face, sorry, but it's annoying. It's like, it if the point is hardcore survivor and it's supposed to be incredibly difficult, yeah. <laughs> and smurfing just kind of, you know, cheeses the difficulty. So if you want the main appeal to be like, hey, this is actually Hardcore Survivor, I don't think it should smurfing should be a, a part of that at all. And I think that's completely aside from conversations about smurfing and gaming in general. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's fine too. Maybe it's okay because like, it, like I said, maybe it's on purpose. Maybe it's on purpose that it's like, oh, we're it's totally Hardcore Survivor, but really we're just bullying killers and it's kind of funny. But whatever, whatever sells, sells, right? Regardless, whatever sells, sells. But 
if you're advertised as Hardcore Survivor, smurfing would definitely make it more legitimate, because, or not smurfing would make it more legitimate, because smurfing does kind of, like, kill the legitimacy a bit, and it's kind of why I've never been personally interested in watching these videos, because I'm like, um, why would I, why would I do that? Like, why would I watch some poor killer be miserable? I don't know, it's just kind of, like, doesn't really appeal to me. So, yeah, to a large extent, I do agree. To a large extent, I do agree. Um, and I do think challenges should actually be challenging and not just hee hee funny. So, yeah.